Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mayan Trey and welcome back to my FIFA 15 Road to Glory career mode. We ended the last episode with three straight wins as we are just running away with this first place here in uh, Football Division 2 here over Portsmouth and Bury in second, but now we've got a match here against Exeter City. Hi everybody, Martin Tyler here with you. Alan Smith has joined me, League 2 football for you today. Yeah, delighted to be here Martin, looking forward to it. Okay, we're going to get this uh, match here started. Very early on, five minutes in, Nichols trying to run past all the defenders, makes it into the box, takes the shot, but the, the goalie gets all of that. Now, uh, ten minutes later here, Carter trying to make moves around defenders, and he gets pulled down in the box. That's a penalty. No card, no booking on that one, but we do get the penalty shot, so Richards, my man's going to take it. And that's an easy one past the keeper. Same shot every time, and they can't seem to stop it. Nobody does their homework in League 2, apparently. But here we go, 18th minute now. Exeter City trying to tie it up, but takes an ill-advised long-distance shot. Can't get it on target. And then a few minutes later with our counterattack here, Richards into the box. He's going to make a move, fake shot around the defender, and the shot goes off of the post as the goalie can't get it. But now Nichols with the steal here. He's got it on the wing. Makes a move back into the box, cuts around the defender, crosses it, and Richards right to the goalie with the header. Free kick here from Exeter City into the box and off of the post, but the rebound falls right to the attacker. But he's ruled off sides, and we escape that situation without giving up a goal because off of the header, that attacker was way off sides there. So we do get very lucky on that, as it should be tied up one all right now. But a few minutes later in the 35th minute, a cross over to Richards again with the header. Another one off of the post. And the volley just goes over the top of the crossbar. But in stoppage time now, right before halftime, the cross into the box from Exeter City. And their header attempt goes over. Got a lot of crosses in this game. But now the poor throw in. Poor control by the defender, and Nichols steals it. He's running into the box. He's going to take it. A fake shot around one defender, but the shot just goes off target off of the side netting there. In the 65th minute now, Morris now losing the ball in the midfield. Get that turnover. The shot into the box, but Duke able to parry it up and over the goal. In the 71st minute, another one, another shot off of the post. Just everybody hitting posts today. Morris now trying to make the tackle, can't quite get it, but Nichols bumps the player off the ball, there's no foul called, so got a pass up to Nichols from Morris, into the box, and Tony with the header, that puts us up 2-0, 81st minute, and hopefully we can hang on to this, a great little header from Tony, a tremendous short cross from Nichols just over the reach of the defender here, as we get another look at this, just he beats two defenders as they take bad positions on that header. But now we've got another opportunity, another through ball up to Tony from Hackett. Tony's going to take the shot, but just sends it wide, going far post on that. And in the dying moments here, Tony again with another opportunity cuts back around the defender into the box, into the middle of the box, takes the shot, and puts it past the keeper again. Second goal of the game puts us up three nil. The game was already way decided at this point, but it never can hurt to get an extra goal going. As he extends his total for the league. And that's the final whistle. And we come away with this one. Very easy 3-0 victory there. Exeter City put up a fight, but it wasn't enough. Duke was where he needed to be. And yet another shutout. Another clean sheet for Duke as he makes seven saves to get men of the match in this one. Quick look at our monthly reporter and our youth academy players now. We just got four players in there. As I can't seem to find anyone good lately with my scouts. So hopefully I'm gonna keep I'm gonna try to keep them in there for the May update to see if we can get some upgrades on these guys, see if they advance a little bit before I bring them in to the uh, the top squad. But uh, my scout expired, and with those recent FA Cup uh, tournament uh, awards, 
have gained a little bit more money. So now I can throw them back out there for just a few more months now. Hopefully get a couple more players before that May update, like I said. And I'm just going to keep them in England. I'm going to try to pretty much just scout England only, especially as a League 2 team. There's no reason that they would have a realistic budget to scout outside of this. Now we've got Dagenham and Redbridge here as the next league match. Hello and welcome to League Two. It's Northampton Town against Dagenham and Redbridge. So midway through the season and they're top of the table. They need to keep on winning. And right away, second minute of this one, Sinclair gets pulled off of the ball. That's going to be a free kick. Muhammad's going to take it, but he can't put it on target. Just sails over the crossbar there. But Tony now in the 35th minute, nothing doing the rest of the first half. Tony charging into the box, making moves around defenders, bumping them back. And he puts the ball past the keeper. Just a little short tap in across the ground, around the keeper. Defenders are wondering why there was no foul on that play. But the referee's not having it. And he bumps back right there, shoves the defender back, but the referee doesn't call it. And he's able to just poke it past him. Easy peasy. 1-0 lead there over Dagenham. But Muhammad just gets wiped out and no foul again. This referee is just not going to call anything today. But we've got to play some defense here in the closing moments of the first half. And another delayed foul there. And then they finally work it up into the box. Not sure how we got away without a penalty on that one. But a lob into the box and the volley side shot just goes wide outside. But now we've made our way into the second half. Muhammad has been able to stay in the game. And the post shot there... And they just slam it home on the rebound as nobody is there to clean it up. And they have tied this game up. One all here in the 69th minute. Late in the game now. Getting later. 82nd minute. Sinclair on the attack with Richards on the side. But he chooses to take it himself. But he doesn't quite get it on target. And in the 88th minute. Closing moments of the game here. Diamond misses the tackle. The attacker walks into the box around all my defenders. But takes a shot from wide, bad angle on the shot, and he sends it to the side netting there. Now through ball up to Richards, he's going to cut back around the defender, over to Moyo, and Moyo's able to push it past the keeper there. In stoppage time here, a great little move from Richards to get around the defender. Sees Moyo streaking up the left side, and the goalie can't get in the right position as the shot just goes over his, uh, under the left arm there. little finesse shot from Moyo. And that is his second goal so far this season, as he just had a tremendous game or a tremendous season for such a young player, such a low-rated player. He's grown quite a bit, up to uh, four points now. But that's the final whistle. We hang on to this one, two-one, and Moyo is going to come away with man of the match in this one with that 7.4 rating. But now uh, we've got an injury to Muhammad. He hyperextended his knee, was somehow able to finish. I don't know how you finish with a hyperextension like that, but it's going to keep him out for three weeks. And we do have a press conference here as we have our next match here against Oxford United, who is our uh, kind of temporary, I guess you'd say, uh, rivals in League 2 play. But now John Joe Toole wanting more money. It's very late in the season. I don't really have the money to get him, but now we've got this final match of the episode here against Oxford United. Welcome to EA Sports, live coverage of League Two. It's Oxford United against Northampton Town. Midway through the season and a vital game coming up. All right, what I mentioned about Oxford being our rivals is uh, just more of a recent thing since their main rivals, Peterborough United, is in League One play. But you see there, Nichols throws the shot over the top there. Just can't quite get it low enough to put it on target. And this guy dancing around outside the box, sends it up, but... They get called for offsides there, so the shot wouldn't have mattered. But now we've got a great ball over the top from O'Toole to Nichols. Nichols is going to take the little sliding shot to try to beat the goalie there, but he can't quite do it. But the ball falls back to him, but the pass not quite good enough to get it to a player there. But Nichols, another opportunity here right before halftime, sends it over to Richards, and Richards is going to put that one home no problem. As the goalie had no idea Richards was coming up that left side. He was waiting for the shot all the way. It's a great little move. From Nichols to get it to Richards there. In the second half here, Oxford United on the wing here, crossing into the box, but Langmead can't get a strong enough header to clear it, but the, uh, the shot goes right to Duke. And Nichols with another opportunity here to put us up 2 0 with the volley, gets it past the goalie, and he gives us the 2 0 lead there over Oxford United. 
who in recent the back well in the back half of the season they've kind of fallen down. They they were in the top top of the table to start the year, but haven't been able to do it. Hornby just moving it past everybody, takes a little touch past the keeper and just walks it into the net to bring us up 3-0 in this one. Great move. I believe that to be Hornby's first goal of the year as he's filling in for John Joe O'Toole in that uh, cam position. Everybody coming to congratulate him. And those Oxford United fans are not very pleased with this. There's a great little just tap right past the keeper as he dives for the ball to make a miss. Yep, there you go. First goal, League 2 play. And that's the final whistle. Another easy victory here as we end this one to close out the episode. 3-0 over Oxford United. Matt Duke getting man of the match with another shutout. He is just on fire with his clean sheets these last few episodes. I think he's given up probably just a couple of goals overall. He only gave up two to West Ham. We had that one to Dagenham. And uh, I, just not not a whole lot happening. He's just shutting them down. And you see there he's happy being picked to play. But he's got no choice, really. He's our only goalie. But that's going to do it all for this episode. We're going to start the next one off with this match here against Luton Town. They have been able to move up into the table to be in a, a fourth place, trying to gain automatic promotion. But, oh, I was wrong. I thought Oxford United had fallen down. But it looks like they fought their way back up into the playoffs there. So they're battling for Luton Town here. And we are 24 points above Luton Town here with nine games left to play. So if we can win this one, we will clinch automatic promotion. But, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Just three episodes remain now until we finish up this first season. And I'll catch you guys later.